Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke! On the last episode, we continued our trek through the Sylph Company building that had been taken over by Team Rocket. We managed to go through, I think, floors 5 through 8, fighting every single Team Rocket member that we could find. And uh, we also did floor 10 because we decided to skip 9 for now so that I could get the TM26, which is Earthquake, so I could teach it to Daisy so she finally has a ground-type move. So, here's our stats after the last episode. Daisy's 39. She's our highest level Pokemon. Her goal is still 40. Roy is 36. Jolt is 37. He's actually getting some love right now. Mikasa's is level 32. Simone's 36. And Jacques is 36. I'm, I think for now, even though Mikasa's is this level, we're not going to try and focus on her right now. Because like I said, after the fifth gym, there's going to be an area where she's going to get a lot of a lot of good Pokemon to fight. Especially for her. With type advantage. Alright, but yeah. Daisy and Roy are the are the... The people I need to train right now. The problem is, I am running low on moves for both of them. So let's switch that right now. Let's go to floor nine. I mean, we still need to. We still need to beat everyone. I think I. I did beat them. All right. Yeah, there's there's uh two more people on floor nine I have to fight. I think there's one over here. Yep, there's this guy right here. Sup, sir? Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. I'd like to see him try. Scientist wants to fight. So did he Voltorb? Well, you know what? We have a nice fresh move that we can use now. How about Earthquake? Yeah, that's what I thought. Super effective. 618. Let's get Daisy to 40 right now. Coughing. Oh, you know what? Poison's also weakened to ground types. So this is going to hurt you just as much. Thank God for this move. Scientist is about to use Magneton. Ooh, another electric type. Oh, this should be kind of, this should be nice and simple. I think with Earthquake, we could easily go take on the gym now. Even though we're like we're gonna be like ten levels underneath what everyone is in there. We should be fine now. Especially since Earthquake's such a strong move. You hammered me. Thank you for the money. Exploiting weak spots does does work. Think about element types. Yeah, I just, I totally exploited the crap out of you there then. All right, so that guy is the last person we need to fight. And then we've fought every single rock member that we currently can without the card key. Now, we could have got the card key, I think, last episode, but... Nope, nope, I, still, I have to go fight this guy. But I thought it was, that'd be better if we fought everyone first. <laughs> I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Well, you're the last one. Which better mean you, which means you better put up a good fight. The other three were so so. So, not a goal bat. All right, well, my strategy for this guy won't work because goal bat's flying type, so ground type moves doesn't affect him. So, I gotta switch out. Jolt, here you go. Mmm, love the sound of that. Still. Goodbye, Golbat. 510 for Daisy, 510 for Jolt. Rocket is about to use Drowsy. I will switch to... Simone. No, I'll stay with Jolt. Simone does... I mean, Simone's 36. But let's see how much damage this does to a Drowsy. I paralyzed it! Yeah, I missed! No, oh, I was hoping. No! Oh, balls. Well, do I? I don't have those floor stores on me right now. I'd use it right now if I could. Na, na, na. I don't want to use another Thunderbolt on it, but I keep on missing Slam! There we go. 
I mean, I could have done a quick attack, and I might have fainted it, but that might. All right, Hypno. Yeah, why not? I don't think I'll waste... I use Slam again. I meant to use Thunderbolt. Faint it! Crit it! Hey, I got a crit! The thing I gotta worry about at Hypno and Drowsy is that they should have a move that should hurt me when I'm sleeping. We have the TM for it. If it's the same move I'm thinking of. I like how it's disabled. Both of them have tried to disable and both of them have failed. Thank God for that. Hey, critical hit! Oh, come on, Jolt, level up. Warg! Brothers, I lost. My brothers will avenge me. Well, true story. You were the last one. All right, so that's every Rocket member that we can currently fight until we get that card key. So let's go get that card key. Down to, you know, let's just take the elevator. Down to floor five. Now, the reason I didn't go get the card key when I could have gotten it is because we'd have to, we have to find out what those patterns on the floor are in order to find out what it is. Because the card key, well, we can actually go see it. Let's go see it. Card key. Actually, we did see it before. Card key. Is that item right there? Unfortunately, I need to go around, so I need to either need to go from the top or I need to go from the left. Although the top currently right now is blocked by a rocket member. And we probably could have been able to get out there had we brought him up here. And we could have, like, snuck past him, I think. No, it wouldn't have been possible. So we have to go this way. But a rocket member's guarding this, and he's looking that way. So what we have to do is this. Step on this platform right here. That is a teleporter. Yes, Pokemon teleporters. Where am I at currently? Let's see. It was number 20. Oh, I am right back here. I just fought you like a minute ago. So I just jumped from the 10th floor, or 9th floor to the 5th floor. Had I known that went here, I would have... <laughs> There's the Brocket brother I just beat. But now if I go back here, I can go down this way and get over here, card key. There we go. So now I can start opening any of these doors I see. So let's start. You know, actually, you know, let's start right here. There's a door right here. Although I don't think there's anything inside this door. Bingo. The card key opened the door. We're just going to open up every single door. Actually, you know what? This, this is great being on this floor. Because if we go down here... And we go down this way... There is a Nurse Joy here! You look tired! You should take a quick nap! Don't give up! And that is the equivalent of a Pokémon Center, so all my Pokémon have been healed, and all their moves have come back. So, how close are you to leveling up again, Daisy? And you know what? Let's keep you out, then. That was the wrong thing. We'll keep you out for now. You'll level up to 40 pretty soon here. But yeah, if I ever need to lose, if I need to heal myself, I'll come straight back up to floor nine. Awesome. All right, there's a rocket member there. So I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last person in floor, this floor. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Where does this teleporter take me? Oh. Something that you're drowsy. Still a little dangerous for Daisy, just because of her poison type. But I don't think it matters from this earthquake. <laughs> 612, one next battle. In fact, he's a Grimer. Oh, this is perfect. Huh. <laughs> Bye, Grimer. It was so fun seeing your weird face. And Daisy leveled up to level 40. First Pokemon to hit 40s. Rocket is about to use my chop. I will switch out. Roy, come out. All right, Roy, now it's your turn to start leveling up. Seems how you don't have any good moves right now except for Ember and Slash. You need to learn another new move. Although I think you, I think you have to wait for like in the 40s for you. Gah! All right, let's do that switch now. 
There you go. There you go. And there's nothing up here except another teleporter, but... I feel like we're not going to be using much teleporters from here on out. Yeah, they'd be fast travel to go throughout random floors, but they're random floors. I mean, each teleporter has an exit and an entrance. Like this, like the one down here will take us straight back to that one we teleported from on floor five. But... Let's finish up the 10th floor right now. Unless I have already. Have I finished off this floor already? Oh yeah, nope, hold on. There's a person down here. What? I'm scared! Oh. Don't be? I'm, I'm right here. Everything should be fine. Everything will be fine. All right, floor eight. There is a gate over here. But is there anything inside the gate? There's a person. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. I've cleared it. floors 10, floors 9, and now floor 8. I'm working my way down. Alright, downstairs to floor 7. Is there anyone I could fight in this area? There is. There are a couple people. Let's go down this way. Bingo. You! It's really dangerous here! You came to save me? You can't! Oh, why can't I? What did I do? It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph or a Pokemon. I'm working on it. Don't worry about it. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Alright, so now we know a name to it. The Master Ball. We'll find out what that does when we get it. If we get it. And we don't die before then. Ooh, item. TM3. I don't know what that is. There's you here. Oh, what am I running away from? A child intruder? That must be you. Man, you're astute. <laughs> Ooh, a Sandshrew. Oh, Sandshrew. Ground types aren't really friendly to me. Oh, no, never mind. I take that back. Ground types are completely, completely fine with me. Because I can't be hit by ground types. Thanks to my flying type. That's what Roy gained. He gained a complete immunity to ground type. Which was a super effective weakness he had before. Rocket is about to use Sand Slash. Sand Slash is a ground type Pokemon. It is the evolved form of Sand Shrew. Obviously. I mean, we just saw Sand Shrew. This looks just like it. Ha. It's doing scratch. I'm doing slash. Faint it, faint it, faint it, faint it. Yay! A thousand experience. All right, there you go, Roy. Fine. I lost. <laughs> Go on home before my boss gets ticked off. Ooh, I'm scared. I, I am. I'm, I'm going to leave right now. <laughs> right, is that everything in this floor? This everything in this floor. All right, down another floor. Floor six. Now, there's a reason why I'm working backwards, and we're going to find out when I get to floor two. But for now... I think there's a gate down here. Is there? Fought that guy. Fought this guy. Oh, yeah, right there. Ooh, another item room. Or technically, it's a storage room, I guess. HP up. And an X accuracy, which I'm going to sell as soon as I get the ability to. Or I'll toss it if I run out of spaces. But for now... There you go, Jolt. Everything's going towards Jolt. I love it. We need to power him up somehow since he can't evolve. All right. Floor six is done. That was simple. No one to fight. Floor five? Possibly. This door right here. But I don't think we're going to be able to fight anyone in this area. 
Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? <laughs> oh, they are super mad, and I'm fine with that. I guess they I guess word is spreading around. You think it's spread around faster? I'll take this item here. A protein, which is gonna go straight to Jolt. We use it right now just in case we run out of spaces. There you go, Jolt. <laughs> We're giving Jolt like every single vitamin known to man. Anything in here? Another item! Like you found TM9, which I also don't know what that does. We'll find out later. All right, this floor is now cleared. We have three more floors to clear. Wow, and floor 11, which is obvious because that's the boss floor. Yeah, let's go down the floor. I think, I think we're, how many people do we have left to fight? Like four or something? Open up this thing. Another item. I see it. I want it. Three items, by, by the way. Escape rope, which I already had some, so that doesn't take up a spot. Full heal, which is pretty good. And a max revive, which is completely pointless for us, but is a very good item to have. Oh, look at this guy up here. Shh. Can't you see I'm hiding? You're, uh, you're not hidden very well. Well, actually, you are. You were hidden behind a gate that wasn't able to be open. There's you to fight over here, though. Hello, sir. My Pokemon are loyal soldiers. Well, they're not going to be loyal after this. You have one. Oh, I have a feeling what you're going to do. All right. Well, I'm going to switch to Daisy for this because I have a feeling about what you're just about to do. Loyal soldier, huh? Oh, that wasn't that. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I went first. Oh, I know what it's trying to do. It's trying to lower my defenses way low. And then that's going to blow up. <laughs> Look at the earthquake took care of that. 529 for Roy. 529 for Daisy. Darn. You weak Pokemon. You didn't do any physical moves. The doors are electronically locked. A card key opens them. Well, to be fair, well, no, maybe, maybe it'd be impossible for me to reach you had I not had a card key. But fourth floor is now empty. We're gonna skip the third floor for now. We're gonna go straight down to the second. Second floor. Oop, wrong way. There's two gates over here. Just a teleporter and this woman right here. Eek! No, stop! Help! Oh, you know what, Team Rocket? I thought... I'm sorry. Here, please take this. Ooh, sweet. TM36. We have three TMs, which I have no idea what they do. Three, nine, 36. I might run out of spots. I hope I don't. Is there anything else to pick up? Oh, yeah, there totally is. Uh... Help! I'm a self-employee. And then he fights me? Probably like, psych! Got ya. Level 26, Grimer! Bye, Grimer! That better faint it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hunter one for Roy. Scientist is about to use wheezing. All right, let's keep you out. Slash it again. That was the critical hit, and it missed. All right, good. I was I was worried Ember wasn't gonna finish you off. Nine hundred sixty-three. Another coughing. Oh, you look so happy. Then I set him on fire. Oh, I got poisoned. Take that. Let's get 
right to 38. Another wheezing. I could get up to 38. Depends on what happens here. This won't faint it because it's going to crit it regardless. Right, hang in there, Roy. And goodbye. Ooh, nice crit hit there. Roy leveled up to 38. How did you know I was a rocket? Because you fought me. You didn't give me a chance. I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. So it's probably his fault that everything started falling apart. I have almost $100,000. All right, let's use fresh water on Roy just quickly. I'm, why? I have, a, I have a bed I could go sleep in. <laughs> you know what? Just because I feel like we're going to run out of spots, I'm just going to use this full heal. There we go. Like... Like I said before, full heals are heal any status effects. All right, floor two is now cleared. So there's only one more floor left to go clear. Well, actually, there's three floors left to go clear. Uh, third floor, seventh floor, and the eleventh floor. And I said, and I said the seventh floor was clear before, but I was kind of lying because there's something there that we've yet to do. I went up a. I, that was an accident. <laughs> Let's open up this. There we go. Alright, there should be one more person back here. And another item. Gimme. Found a hyper potion. Alright, well, if I need to use any potions, I'll definitely use that first. That's taking up a spot. I support Team Rocket more than I support Sylph. I think the last person we're fighting is technically not a Team Rocket member. It's just a scientist that works for Team Rocket. All right, another electrode. I I have bad feelings. Faint it. Ha! Ah! Of course, it ended up with like that much health. There we go. Goodbye. Scientist is about to use wheezing. I'm fine with this. That was such a tease. Critical hit it to almost one health. Oh, I got poisoned again. Stop getting poisoned, Roy. There we go. That's the last one. You really got me. Thank you for the thank you for the money. How close are we? Oh god, we're at 93,000. Antidote. There we go. Okay, so we've now fought every single person that we currently can. Our next goal is to try and reach floor 11. In order to get to floor 11, there is needs to, there is a little puzzle that we need to do with these teleporter things. Each teleporter goes to a certain other teleporter. We need to find the correct one. Now, we can spend all day finding the correct ones, or we could just go to straight to this one, which will take us straight to where we need to go to. But, as you can see down there, and we have seen him a couple times, we have a friend down there. A friend that actually managed to get past us without a card key? Or else he's been trapped here. All right, let's go with he's been trapped here. All right, here we go. What kept you, Bucky? Or whatever his voice is supposed to be. <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Oh, of course he fights us here. Sean wants to fight. So that a Sand Slash. Level 38! Alright, well good news. I can't be hurt by ground type moves. Bad news, I can be hurt by other type of moves. Apparently, Roy likes to get poisoned for some reason. Ow. No, no, Slash as well. Woo! Alright, I'm switching out. Just for the sake of it. 
Because I might, I could totally faint it. But if I miss, then that's Roy gone. Yeah, that's not going to miss. That was our first time using Surf, too. Which is a water type, so it's super effective. Sean is about to use Nine Tails. Well, Simone, you're staying out. Nine Tails is a fire type Pokemon. It is the evolved form of Vulpix, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, we've seen Vulpix, we haven't seen Nine Tails, though. All right, well, this is gonna hurt it again. Ooh, that was close. Would Roy have, any would Roy have done anything? Oh, it's still alive. I used a potion. Oh, well, that was a waste of a potion. At least we have a challenge here. Smoke gain 13 and 35. Sean is about to use Cloyster. I will. I will switch to Jolt. Cloyster is a water ice type Pokemon. It is the evolved form of Shelter. And this is technically the first ice Pokemon we've seen. We've, we've seen, we've, we have had Ice Beam for a while. So that's how we've known about the Ice type. But other than that, this is the first time we've seen an Ice Pokemon. Which is not that many. Ooh, Aurora Beam, that's an Ice type move. It's like Ice Beam, but a little, a little stronger. All right, we'll take that. Actually, I think Ice Beam's stronger than Aurora Beam. Doesn't matter, it's gone. Sean is about to use Kadabra. I will switch. I will switch to Jacques. Let's get everyone some love, except for Mikasa. <laughs> we'll get love later. Fly. <laughs> Use Recover, why? Yeah, I went first. Nice! Haha, <laughs> I was afraid. A new Recover, which basically is like a potion that it can use, it's on its own. Which would have been very bad if started using it repeatedly. Sean is about to use Jolteon. I will switch to Daisy. So, now we need to see the fruits of our labor for beating him both on Pallet Town and on Route 22. Because Eevee has evolved into a Jolteon, which is an electric type Pokemon. We know that. We've, we've seen all of Eevee's, electron, <laughs> Eevee's evolved forms from Bill's PC. But yeah, Jolteon is electric type just because it's supposed to make it harder against us with our electric type starter. But we have a... We have a... Uh, we have a ground type here. Pin missile. Oh, that must be a bug type move. Oh, well, it didn't matter. <laughs> Super effective two hits. Super effective one hit. Bye, Jolteon. Level up. And we defeated Sean. Oh, -ho! so you are ready for boss rocket. Well, Bucky, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Bucky, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. What a jerk. All right, well, he's out. Now, for some reason, he was here at Self Company with a strong amount of Pokemon. Oh, I'm poisoned, I forgot. And he did nothing. He did absolutely nothing. Which means he's either that much of a jerk or he's working with Rocket. Which is, I, I guess, I think I've heard that theory before that he's working with Rocket because he was allowed in here. He, he didn't do anything. All right, there we go. I could go back to the bed, but I'm fine here. All right, let's go past this guy. I actually want to talk to this guy. Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And we got a Lapras. I will give a nickname to Lapras. I'm gonna nickname this thing exactly what it should be named. Nessie. 
There's no more room for Pokemon. Nessie was sent to Pokemon Box T1 PC. It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. So yeah, Lapras is, was in our Pokedex. We saw this over at the at the Safari Zone. We've seen 101 Pokemon now. Yep, there it is. So that's that's what we just got, the transport Pokemon. A gentle soul that can read the minds of people. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. It's also water ice, which is... Actually, you know, Lapras was the first water ice Pokemon we've seen. <laughs> but we didn't actually see it, see it, in a battle. But now we own one, so yay! So, that's the Pokemon for Sylph Company. I think I also count that for Saffron City, unless Saffron City is a different area. Some people said that Rocket Hideout is a different area, or the Game Corner is, technically. Game Corner is part of Saffron. The Hideout is part of Rocket Hideout. I don't know. Well, I'll have to think about whether that's a, that's a Pokemon from Saffron or a Pokemon from Sylph Company. Which it could be. It could be, could be either. But I think it's time we move on. Use this teleporter right here. And this will take us straight to the 11th floor on the other side of that wall that we couldn't reach. So. Hold it right there, brat. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Of course it's you two. Rocket wants to fight. So did he wheezing. All right, well, you know, the good thing is, Sean's Pokemon are stronger than these these people, so this should be a simpler fight. Unless, unless there's, like, a freak accident that happens, which I hope doesn't. Please don't. Not against Roy. He's worked so hard to get this strong. Rocket is about to use Arbok. You know what? I think these people don't deserve any mercy. All right, Daisy, do your worst. Yeah, bye, Arbok. Rocket is about to use Meowth. I will switch out. Roy, you're gonna get the experience for this because you need it. Kill this thing. That's, that's how it goes. We're getting 457, and he leveled up to 39. Like always. <laughs> like always. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Again. <laughs> oh, there goes, there goes them. So, there's only one person left. We're gonna, we're gonna eat. Uh, what Pokemon should we put in front? Let's put Simone in front. Simone's gonna be nice for this fight. Alright. There he is. There's Giovanni. He locked himself in. What a jerk. Ah, Bucky. So we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business pro proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Giovanni wants to fight. Nidorino! Alright, well, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Level 37? Alright, let's do some surfs. That should hurt it. Decent amount of damage. Why does Simone out here for a reason? We'll find out. I hope, maybe, possibly, maybe not. Giovanni is about to use Persian. Oh wow, well, you're not getting any any leeway for this. There we go. I could have done double kick. I probably should have done double kick. Ooh, it used a guard spec. That doesn't matter. 
It's going, I might go away this turn. Paint it, yay! That was an experience. Giovanni is about to use Rhyhorn. Yep, switching back over to. Switch it over to Mikasa. Actually, you know what? This might have been a poor choice. Ah, uh, you get some love. Maybe not. Maybe this wasn't a poor choice. He says he went first. Surprisingly. Yeah, there's that times four damage. A thousand experience. Level up. Giovanni's about to use Nido Queen. I will switch out. We're going to switch back over to Simone for this. This is the one Pokemon I wanted to fight with Simone. Maybe Rhyhorn, but yeah. He has his own Nido Queen. That won't matter after this, Surf. Here comes that ground type weakness. I have a Nido Queen. I know exactly how they work. Level 41, though. The strongest Pokemon we've seen. Use another guard spec. Well, it doesn't matter now. So long, Needle Queen. 1700? Simone leveled up! Ah! I lost again? $4,000! Thank you! Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph. But Team Rocket will never fall. Bucky, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Whew! That was a long trek up here. Alright, let's read this computer just because we can. Oh! We can actually use this computer as a normal PC! Well, that's kind of cool! Well, if that's the case, I'll go put away, these, put away these TMs, just in case. I guess I put this here because we're about to receive an item. And if we want to use this item, we better make sure we have a spot for it. Go away. TM3 is Swords Dance. I have a, I have a sheet right here that tells me all the TMs now. TM9 is Takedown, which is like a tackle, but it hurts yourself. And Swords Dance is the move that we saw that raises your attack and speed, but it costs a turn. TM36 will never use, because that's self-destruct, and we're not idiots. I don't have lock. All right, but now, hello, Mr. President. <sighs> Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I almost said need. I thought it was going to be need. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. And we got the Master Ball! You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it though. So the Master Ball is a one of a kind item that usually is in Pokemon games. You usually get it near the end, but we got it like in the middle because why not? The Master Ball, while the Pokeball has a, has a chance to catch a Pokemon and the Great Ball has a, like Pokeballs, Chance of catching it is a normal one times. Great Ball is 1.5. Ultra Balls, which we haven't seen, is a times two. Master Balls are a time 255, which is basically the equivalent of meaning if you toss this at a Pokemon that is able to be caught, it will catch it without fail. Like they, like I said, no matter what I throw it at, even if it's at full health, it'll be caught and it'll be mine. But we're gonna save it because we only have one. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. Yay. And every Rocket member now in Silk Company is gone. The scary music is still playing because why not? That's probably over the PA system. But this dungeon is now cleared. Everyone's gone. All the Rocket members are safe. Saved at last. Thank you. And all of the employees are so happy now. Although I don't think any of, the, any of them give us anything now. You, Bucky! You and your Pokemon saved us. I am a hero. Yeah, that's right. I'm a 10-year-old hero. Whew. But that's going to do it for Sylph Company. Another dungeon down. Only two more mandatory dungeons left. Which means we're... <laughs> to be honest, we are close to the end. I guess. We still have a lot of things to do. But now all the Rocket members are gone. Normal people are back outside. 
Yeah, Team Rocket is gone. It's safe to go out again. Which means I can now start going into any buildings I want in here, like the gym. But for now, uh, we're going to stay away from that gym. Daisy had 40. She's very close to 41. Yeah, 200 away from 41. Uh, Roy almost hit 40, but we started giving some love to other people like Simone and Jolt. And even Jock got some, a battle. And Mikasa got a battle, too. But that's going to do it for this episode. One more dungeon down. Another rocket plan foiled. We got the best Pokeball in the entire series. And we now have nothing left but except Koga and Sabrina. And we're about to hit 29 and a half hours. We hit $100,000. Yeah, let's go buy a yacht. Well, let's save the game. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke, to be honest, I don't really know what we're going to do. <laughs> we could do something here. We might do something here in Saffron City. And then we'll head back over to Fuchsia and start training a little bit. Because I still want, I still want all our Pokemon to be pretty decent level before we before we battle the gym leader. Like I said, Daisy and Roy at least 40, if not 42. Although with Daisy having Earthquake, a poison type gym should be no problem now. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.